Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am doing probably one of my favorite videos ever, if that's how it feels today. I'm doing a very makeup geek video. So I use brushes, I used her eyeliner, I used a lippy and foiled lippy and let's see, I used the new power pigments and powerful they are. I used some of her regular eyeshadows her blushes, her contours, and I did use some of her highlighters. So I really had kind of, this whole look is a very makeup geek kind of geeky look. I love Marlene, I love makeup geek. So anytime she puts out something, I really enjoy just jumping in front of the camera and having fun with it. Um, I did purchase these power pigments and oh my God, they're powerful. So the colors I used were uh, Untouchable, I used some Unleashed, I used some Invincible, some Dedicated, and some Courageous. So I, I used just a ton of different colors to create this look. And then, you know, I, I went back into my Makeup Geek vault and decided what else could I find from Makeup Geek to kind of have as much of a full face of Makeup Geek as possible. So I did use the eyeliner and um, that color is in Immortal. Absolutely love it. It's really... It's just so easy to use and that's why I like it. Um, I did use some of her pigments and the pigment that I used was called Illusion. So I pulled out some foil pigments. I went in with the lip color Rare and then topped it just in the center with a bit of VIP. Uh, the highlighter, the blush, I mean everything that I could put on Makeup Geek, I did. So I created this look for this weekend. We're actually headed to a birthday party and just really, really enjoyed using these power, powerful pigments, power pigments. I mean, absolutely amazing. So anyways, if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If um, you want to see how I got into this look and I started playing and creating, you're in the right spot. I hope you have as much fun watching this video as I did creating it because I'm a makeup geek fan. I love, love, love the product. So today again was just an absolute fun, over the top, couldn't have any more fun if I tried. Yeah, I just don't think it's possible because I'm that big of a fan. And I will say, oh my gosh, I forgot to even rate the, the power pigments. Power pigments do have some fallout, so be prepared. I did tap my brush, so I didn't have any fallout down here. They blended amazing. I had no trouble blending. I actually started out high, kind of came in low. Everything blended amazing. They have a ton of pigment, so we're not playing with the pigment. Um, so go in a little light on the brush and kind of build up because you're, I mean, even going light on the brush, it is pretty dang powerful. So yeah, I just had an amazing time. I would give these powerful pigments, power pigments, power, power pigments that are powerful, pa -pa 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 -pa, an absolute 10, absolute 10. Love, love, love them. So I know some of these colors are pretty bright and those might scare y'all off. But I'll tell you what, if you put a toe in, you're going to have fun. That's all I got to say. Anyways, I hope you are uh, ready for this video because here okay, we go. So I'm totally excited today. It's going to be a makeup geek day and we are going to use her new power pigment. So the eye look is probably going to be pretty crazy. That's all I'm saying. I do have the makeup geek bronzer on. And let's see what color I used. I used the color Breakup. It's a cool porcelain. And so we started there with the Makeup Geek. Not sure what color blush or lip yet that I'm going to use of her, so we're going to wait on that. And yeah, so we're just going to play a little bit and see what we kind of come up with. I'm going to go ahead and map out my eye with the 
handy dandy cut grease and I only put the, the bit on the edge to help me because I really don't need much more than that. I can always take this and just kind of move, fill in and move the foundation for the concealer. Just kind of want to map out a bit of that. I'm using ColourPop's concealer and it's really kind of runny, which I wasn't expecting, comparatively speaking. So it does look like I'm starting out with a bit of a hot mess, but I promise we'll, well, I can't promise that the eye look won't be a hot mess. I'm guessing if you're watching this, that means I was okay with whatever came out. I, I really went back and forth playing with figure or trying to figure out what am I going to do with these power pigments because they are really powerful. So I bought them all at the same time and it came as a gift, a Z palette along with a makeup case. So it was kind of excited about that because I love me some Makeup Geek. I love me some Marlena. And yeah, I'm, I'm really struggling with what I'm going to do with this eye look. So let's just go with this color here. And I'm putting it on a little bit of a flat, tiny brush. Holy smokes. So we do have we do have pigmentation, definitely. These are definitely powerful pigments. Holy, holy smokes. Okay, so I've mapped out even further and I feel like I have a little bit of the McDonald's arches going. So we're gonna kind of bring that down and soften it so we don't scare everyone. I'm gonna take this brighter pink here. This is like a very Barbie doll color of pink. And we do have some fallout, as you can see. So I'm going to kind of go over that and smudge out and lighten what I just did there. I'm going to take a clean little fluffy brush and we're going to kind of blend those two together. These power pigments are pretty powerful, like way powerful. I'm going to pick up the light pink again. I've got it on a little makeup heat brush. This is the Defined Crease Brush. I was hoping, well, on that, kind of blowing that out, that worked perfect. So I think I'm gonna pick up a little bit bigger one of the brushes I have, which is the Soft Dome Brush. I'm gonna pick up that really pinky color. And I am using what fall what fell off because I love Makeup Geek. Also, Makeup Geek brushes are my favorite. I just released a video, oh, not that long ago, on a bag that I keep packed. And you'll see in there that I keep all of the, a lot of my Makeup Geek eye brushes in there already. I bought a ton. Every time she does a sale, I'm like, ooh, time to get my Makeup Geek brushes. And I did. All right, so we're gonna pick up this color here. And we're gonna move it into the crease and kind of up towards where we had it earlier. This red, I've really been intrigued by red. So we're gonna, we're gonna pick up this red. pick back up the blending brush and since I'm using some really strong colors I want to kind of tone them you know make sure that they're blended well time for a coffee break with my Dalmatian mug because I love me some Dalmatians in fact I've had a Dalmatian with me in the house ever since I was about 21. I love the breed. They're a little crazy, which is why I like them, but they are so loyal and so sweet. 
Okay, so I think I'm now going to pick up this, this purple. It's almost like I'm trying them all. Trying them all. Clean back up that blending brush. So those power pigments are are pretty powerful very pretty very very pretty i do want to switch over to the regular makeup geek so i have all of her, my makeup geek and basically kind of color coordinated um and i bought her little stickers to put on top and i'm gonna pick up the color ice queen this is gonna be even though it's a defined crease brush i'm gonna pick up ice queen and go up underneath the brows. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull that on the inner corner of the eye. Which I definitely want this inner corner of the eye to pop. Like, because I've got this is kind of getting, you know, a little darker. So I want to give some light to the inner corner so it doesn't kind of drag it in. Then what I did was I picked up some of her foiled pigments. And I've got a ton of her foiled pigments. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go for a pretty strong bit. So I'm gonna take some MAC Prime, Prep and Prime on a nice little flat brush there. I'm not sure that I've used this color before. This color is called Illusion. That's pretty. Then picking back up the brush that I used earlier, I'm gonna kind of blend that line together so it's not as harsh. I also have some Makeup Geek. This is uh, Immortal. It is a gel liner. I'm gonna pick that up on a kind of angled brush. finished my eyeliner using uh, the color Immortal. And then, and then, I'm gonna pick back up my little smudgy brush that I used in the very beginning. You kind of pick up the Barbie doll color pink, which I know that's not what she calls it. She actually calls it Unleashed. All right, unleash your Barbie. Okay, I think I've unleashed my Barbie. I'm gonna go ahead and put on mascara, which she doesn't have a mascara that she's ever put out. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Butter London because everything is better with butter. It's the Double Decker Lashes. Okay, so I applied mascara. I even made sure I got some on my nose, like I always do, because I always do. And I'm going to use some of the Magnet Lashes from Ardell. So these are the double, double one tens. So basically, I now have them in a spot, and there we go. So these are really easy to put on despite you know kind of how some people felt but again it's because I cut them in half and I did find that from another youtuber so it's not like I was that brilliant on my own although I do have a trick that I did do on my own with some of the Ardell lashes so I'll show I'm gonna do another video a part two on the Ardells so now that the mascara has kind of dried I just kind of went ahead and popped that off all right, and I also have a lot of Makeup Geek blushes, so I've got them in quite a few colors, and then this one is has some others that are not Makeup Geek. 
So I'm trying to decide, do I want to go with a peach, a brown, not a brown, but like a tan, maybe this color here. And that color is called Puppy Love. And who doesn't love some pups? You don't love some pups, there's something wrong. Pups are so awesome. All right, so we're gonna pick up some Puppy Love. Ooh, for them apples. Ooh. Oh, some bright apples. Because I went a little crazy, I will pick up a kabuki brush and just kind of blend that down so it's not as bright. My eyes are already kind of popping and pretty over the top. So the last thing I want to do is, you know, have the blush conflict. Now we're going to move to Makeup Geeks. I have their highlighters and a dual-sided Z palette. So I've got some on that side and I've got some on that side. And I think I really, for this look, want to pick up on one of those two. I think I'm going to pick up the lighter. So let's see what color that is, shall we? Okay, so I pop that out and that color right here is called Celestial. And I pulled back out one of my big brushes that I miss so much because it really makes highlighting so much easier. So Celestial it is, I think it picks up those, just the really pretty pinks and purplish, the magenta is very nice. I told you it's gonna be a very makeup geek day. That one looks good. All right, we're gonna use the color Beeper from ColourPop. And this color from Makeup Geek is called Rare. And I think just because that's like, we're gonna, and it's a technical term, we're gonna pick up the Foiled Lip Gloss and VIP. And just lightly kind of mix that in and dot that in the middle. And that way it, it kind of lightens it. It's not too foiled because I kind of mixed it in but it does give a little bit of a variation on the shade. So I think that is the end of the very makeup look from Makeup Geek. So what do you guys think? Um, I, again, I used the Power Pigments, so that's her newest bits, and uh, I pulled out some of her, her other stuff that obviously works very well with the color scheme. And my little dude, Rusty, is here. Rusty, come here. So behind the Wizard of Oz curtain is my, my big wiener, Rusty. So his little nickname is Rusty Cadetal Hopper. He was one of our rescues, and he's just an absolute sweet boy, but he is a big wiener. I took him to work with me one day, and they're like, oh my gosh, we didn't even know wiener dogs could get that big. So this is, this is one of my rescues, Mr. Rusty, and he is spoiled rotten, as is all of them. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. I like mommy's, I like mommy's studio, you yeah. know, he does like mommy's studio. All right, baby. Now we're going to finish off everything with a bit of the Hangover 3-in-1 by Too Faced and I am off and doing my hair. So I'll be Thank back. you so much for watching today as I had a very makeup geek kind of day, which was an absolute fun video for me. I really, really enjoyed this one. It's 
probably one of the favorite ones that I have done in a long time. So I hope you really like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice so you can make it a great one. Until next time.